Alrighty, I wanted to keep the showcase short on that one. Uh, I'm sure everyone's seen rack bombs a million times. Uh, this is going to be a fairly simple guide on the Holy Reckoning build. Uh, this is one of the builds that I prefer um, over Reckoning with Rhett. I, I like the consistency of the burst. And so in this video, I'm going to be going over all the different aspects from talents to gear and everything like that. So this build uses 26, 25, and zero. Uh, picking up a lot of important stuff in the Holy Tree as well as the Protection Tree. Uh, I'll go ahead and break down the talent uh, choices here. Um, starting off with uh, Redoubt. This increases your chance to block attacks with your shield by 30% after being a victim of a critical strike. So this comes in very handy when uh, you know, you're having to play on the defensive, pull out that one-hander to shield. This comes in uh, very strong. 30% chance right off the bat right there is, is very good. From there, uh, you're going to go ahead and pick up uh, Precision, 3% chance to hit with the melee weapons. This uh, makes you only require 2% more hit with uh, your gear to cap off your hit for melee swings and PvP. Then we're going to get Guardian's Favor. Uh, this reduces the cooldown of your Blessing of Protection by 120 seconds and increases the duration of your Blessing of Freedom by 6 seconds. So this is huge for um, Battlegrounds, um, even in PvE. Being able to uh, Blessing of Protection like your healers or a mage or anyone like that who, who uh, can keep casting while having that up, protect them from uh, rogues and warriors, is, is awesome. Uh, then I pick up Blessing of Kings. So this is overall a really good blessing. Um, I use this and Might uh, kind of interchangeably. Uh, if I'm fighting versus a caster, sometimes I like to have the Blessing of Kings. Having 10% more Stam, 10% more Strength, 10% more Int comes in handy if someone's trying to burst you down. You know, you have a little bit more padding on you. Uh, from there, I like to pick up Sealed Specialization. Uh, this is really strong, 30% increased uh, absorption from your shield, you know, stack that up with uh, Redoubt. Very strong when you're having to play on the defensive side. All right, then, uh, let's see, then we have to go into toughness. Um, there are some other choices here. I mean, maybe if we're going to do some, like, you know, five-man tanking or something, you could pick up Improved Righteous uh, Fury. Uh, there's also Improved Devo Aura. I mean, 15% isn't much on there. So, I mean, you could go improve Concentration Aura. This time I just decided to go for the passive 6% increased armor. I mean, it's nothing special, but it's there. Alrighty, then improved Hammer of Justice. This is awesome. This is a huge ability for uh, Paladins because we only have the one stun because we're not going full red to get uh, Repentance here. So having the 10, uh, 15 seconds off brings it down to a 45 second cooldown. Uh, you stack that up with the PvP set, uh, reduce the cooldown by another 10 seconds. So my hand, uh, my Hammer of Justice is already down to a 35 second cooldown. So very strong right there. A lot of control and fights and uh, all that, like able to burst people down with that. All right, and then uh, we go into Reckoning, of course. This is what everyone knows is the Paladin, like one shot everyone. So uh, with this build going Holy Rec... Uh, you, you pick up a lot of spell damage gear. You want to have some of that judgment gear and stuff like that, uh, or the PvP gear. This one increases your seal of righteousness damage. So you stack Reckoning up a max of four times. So your next hit will hit five times in total. You multiply your seal of righteousness proc on each one of your melee hits. So it's hitting five times as well. And then each five of those hits has a chance to proc either your weapon, your trinkets, you know, whatever. I'll, I'll show the gear in a little bit. But yeah, you can, in the later game, you can one-shot warriors, you can one-shot other paladins, you can one-shot pretty much anything in the game. You stack that up with shadow oils especially, it, it gets pretty crazy. All right, and then we're going to go into the holy tree. Picking up five out of five divine strength. 10% more strength. Once again, this, this build is a lot of a lot of uh, just auto attacking, so you want to have that increased damage. Uh, then pick up the improved seal of righteousness, 15% increased damage on your righteousness, because this build does not have seal command. Um, so we're just going more for the consistent burst, a little bit more consistent damage. Um, uh, seal of command overall, just in a you know, melee hits, 
is going to be doing more damage than Righteousness, but Righteousness stacked up with Reckoning does some crazy stuff. So uh, from there, let's see, we go, uh, you can pick up Spiritual Focus. This time I decided to mess around and go into uh, Divine Intellect, but that's totally up to you. Uh, spiritual Focus probably is better for the, you know, fighting warriors and rogues and, you know, anyone who's hitting you and you're getting your heels knocked back. Um, Divine Intellect isn't horrible either. I mean, it's not the greatest because you don't have a ton of intellect on your gear, but, you know, having that little bit of extra mana pool, spell crit, it isn't too shabby as well. All right, and then we can pick up uh, Consecration. This is a very strong AoE ability. It's, uh, again, one of those, you know, key Paladin abilities. Um, then we pick up Healing Light. This increases the amount healed by your Holy Light and Flash of Light spells by 12%. Uh, then we pick up, uh, I like to go in Yielding Faith. It's kind of one of those mess around things like uh, having to resist a fear from a, from a warrior or, you know, even in a PvE encounter or whatever is pretty awesome. Uh, Improved Lay on Hands it probably is the better choice. It's more consistent, you know, having a reduced cooldown on there. But, you know, once again, it's up to you. It's it's classic. You get kind of get to do whatever you want, really. Um, then Illumination. This is amazing for both PvP and PvE. Uh, you definitely want this. Um, like, you want like you want to have this down to get down to Divine Favor because having this combo uh, enables you to pretty much heal in raids, even though uh, I didn't tell you that because, um, you know, you're supposed to go full holy or whatever. But, yeah, definitely... Divine Favor and Illumination, being able to get those crit heals off, keeping your mana pool up. Um, but the reason why I love Divine Favor uh, in this build so much is because you want to get critically struck as much as you can. So some cases I let a rogue or a warrior just open up on me. I spam my slash sit macro and I might get a little bit low health. So once I'm kind of low health, maybe I have to pop a bubble or a Divine Protection pop a uh, divine favor and heal up to full health and then from there i can turn around stun them and like one shot them from there so yeah it's 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 pretty pretty fun build um yeah so next i'll be talking about the gear okay so a macro that you definitely will be needing uh is a slash sit macro so go ahead just create a new macro pick whatever icon name it whatever you want sit you know whatever you want to do then just slash sit that's all it takes. Uh, I, you know, have superstition, but I type it three times. I've always done that. I don't know why. Don't ask me why, but there you go. All right. And then from there, so the important thing about reckoning, you know, say uh, I got Hooney over here as a warrior. He's going to right click me. I'm going to show you exactly how to get those procs off on you here. So I'm going to walk up. He's smacking me around. Uh, say the fight's going on, and I legit just want to sit here and get crit three, uh, four times in a row. Um, once uh, Classic WoW is launched, I'm sure there's going to be an add-on that will be uh, called a Reckoning Counter. Uh, you definitely want to have that so that you can see the full, um, like when, once you have full stacks, because sometimes it gets hard to, to track and count when you're being opened on by like a rogue or something like that. Uh, but yeah, so... I, right now, uh, I can't find one that's working, so I've just been manually counting out in my head every single time a fight happens. I just, I listen for those proc sounds off of the readout. I look look for the animation, and then from there, I, I know when it's up. Uh, but yeah, so once you have all that up, then you can go ahead and do your burst. So all it takes is, you know, you can pop your Seal of Crusader, judge that on them, pop your Seal of Righteousness, pop your Trinket, run in for the hand of justice and right click and it's pretty much a guaranteed one shot every time <laughs> there you go so for the gear for this build you're going to be using very similar gear to your shockadin uh build in my previous video i went over a lot of the spell damage gear you could pick up as a paladin um yeah so this build doesn't necessarily need uh, any crit or anything like a full ret built would. Uh, you're going to be focusing on getting spell damage. So the Judgment Tier 2 set, uh, the Dungeon set, um, let's see, the Tier uh, 2.5 set as well, the PvP set, all has some good spell damage on them, some good strength, uh, and that's what this build is focusing on. Um, uh, having those Seal of Righteousness procs uh, off your melee swings as well as 
having a nice proc weapon. Uh, I'll, I'll throw some links up on the screen for you so you know what to build. Um, from there, yeah, it, it, you honestly, uh, off the start, Reckoning can do some crazy damage even early on with not much gear. Um, I'll show some, like, you know, maybe early on items that you can pick up as well that'll be strong for that. Uh, some consumables that you want to be using. Once again, very similar to my shotgun and build, but you want those shadow oils for the spell damage proc. Uh, you want, let's see, Dragon Breath Chili. You want a lot of those uh, very strong consumables. I'll throw them up on the screen for you so you know what to build. But yeah, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been a pretty fun uh, video to make. So once again, I'll see you later.